what's good everybody Alright, so, ooh, original gamer versus the cheap Luigi vs. Fox matchup. Yeah, a lot of this matchup is mostly uh, just how Luigi wants to put up certain walls. Uh, Fort Tilt can be really strong, but if the Fox is aware of it, uh, crowd cancels can kind of curb that a bit. Um, but Fox doesn't really get too many like true combos so a lot of it is kind of just nickel and diming uh just kind of explain the fact that fox generally just has a little bit more control over being able to dash versus wave dash and uh fox's back air you know is really strong and if uh luigi gets off stage it sh pretty much should be a stock though a lot, a lot of people really know how to edge guard luigi super effectively and as long as luigi has a double jump it can be really scary because if you get caught with an aerial um, as you're trying to go out for something or you're holding ledge, um, you know, you can, you can just kind of die and that really sucks in the matchup. Like you really want to, you want to make sure that, uh, characters like Luigi don't get any kind of tempo on you because, uh, they can be really difficult to crack defensively because your shield pressure, uh, I mean, they kind of slide off of your shield pressure and, uh, they have some, some, uh, legend invincible options too, so... Um, even if, uh, so, though when they're cornered, you do have an advantage, um, you have to be very careful, make sure you're still precise, because they can catch you off guard, just doing, you know, ledge down B, ledge wave dash down smash, like you saw there. And uh, crowd, uh, down smash is a really good crouch cancel buster early, so that's why you have to worry about that mix up with, you know, forward tilt, as well as uh, hard, you know, down smashes, uh, sometimes up smash too, as a viable anti-air. Because uh, Luigi gets a, think, a little bit of head invincibility from, uh, from the up smash. And with normal uh, survival DI, it can you know, lead to some death combos. But really nice conversion with the soft neutral air to up B. Uh, usually it's harder to KO off the top against a fast faller, but you know, get enough percentage where it didn't matter. Up throw up air, of course. Uh, though that doesn't really combo against Luigi. Um, the problem is sometimes Luigi will want to come down with that neutral air, and um, I don't think that always works against Fox up throw up air. Uh, so sometimes we just kind of have to respect it. Uh, both all the Mario's usually kind of have to respect up throw up air just a little bit, but they can, uh, they can, it's all avoidable for me. Very nice that uh, slow wave dash, slowly uh, moving him outside of range of the uh, wake up attack. Once he drifted out of the range there, uh, original gamer should have uh, should have recognized that and just looked to move away. But even if Luigi could theoretically cover the away roll option, uh, the punish wouldn't be as strong as uh, calling the the wake up attack option. Got him on the ground. Nice call. Yeah, I push in. Most people kind of get influenced to uh, to move the opposite direction of what someone's, where someone's advancing. It's kind of a classic psychological uh, tech chase option. Something uh, all old school Falcons used to employ a lot with uh, you know, dash forward, then the fade back stomp and stuff like that. Oh, it could have just rose up with a uh, rising down air or forward air. Uh, when a person's charging a smash attack, if you hit them while they're charging it, uh, they have less weight, so uh, they would uh, go a lot further away. Uh, which at 150% would have been really good for Luigi, uh, where Fox might have might have been able to live from even a um, a non-sweet spot. It become it could become a kill move. All right, so best of five. Um, Luigi did have it, or uh, Fox did have a chance there. Um, even though he's at high percentage, probably should have just played really risky by the ledge. Uh, try to call any kind of long approach, like the long up smash that the cheat went for, and just go for like back throw um, and go for like heavy shine, heavy shine pressure uh, to try to force Luigi off stage, where you stand a really good chance of just getting easy gimps. Because in, in a last dock situation like that, um, that's where Fox is usually really strong. Uh, because you have, you have so many options available to you at any, any given time, and your GIMP options are so strong. Uh, people can often psych themselves out um, whenever you put them in those situations. So sometimes just 
uh, mixing up being really aggressive at times when they're off stage, and mixing up being really patient it can just be a nightmare, uh, especially when you're playing against someone you know you haven't really played before. Because like this, this keeps them guessing; they don't know what you're going to go for at any time. That double jump. Um, definitely sent him up to die. I think when he recognized that he wasn't going to bite on the initial double jump, he probably should have just tried to retreat to the top platform. So I'm trying to just come down with that really telegraph neutral air. Oh, he gets anyway. Once again, uh, Mikey seemed to come down with an aerial um, instead of respecting the up throw up air. So that's at least two stocks in the set that uh, could have been avoided. But. Mikey still has tempo. Uh, goes for Mikey really loves going for that drop off, uh, down down throw into um, a, um, like aggressive aerial. Um, there's not really a lot Fox can really do because he's uh, he's a fast faller and Luigi decides to follow off fast falling with uh, you know really big uh, somewhat lingering hit boxes. Um, you uh, you might not even have enough time depending on where uh, what percentage you're at and how how close you are to the ledge to double jump air dodge because uh, that's at least five frames uh, before the invincibility would come out after your hit's done and you've even finished. And assuming that Luigi has some uh, some movement after your hit's done is complete, uh, could lead to a, a frame disadvantage. But I'm not really certain on that. So it's not something I see too often. So usually if you want to avoid that entirely, you just want to DI hard, hard away. Ooh, nice big toe coming up. Doesn't quite get the strong follow-up that he wanted, though. So Fox still in a position where he could try to bring it back. Um, a lot of this is probably going to revolve around getting really, really strong back airs um, to counter, counter the cheat spacing and approaches. Oh, it goes for another up B. You have a punish op, but ends up Tasha attacking. I think they might have wanted running up smash, but I'm not certain. Stash attack would have been. Uh, I was gonna go Falcon. You wanna do Falcon Dittos? Huh? I can do that. Dude, my my link is so bad against spaces. Like it's it's embarrassing. If you really want to, I can I can try it. But I never. It's not exposure when I know that I, I never claim to be anything. And so the cheat has to checkmate with the 69. That's it.